This is a test of a UK missile capable of carrying a nuclear weapon. In recent years, the UK was on a path to reducing its arsenal, but has now reversed these plans. It's the latest sign that experts believe shows the global disarmament process has stalled. So how did we get here? Here are four numbers that help explain what's going on. Five. That's the number of recognized nuclear weapon states according to an international treaty. They are the US, Russia, China, the UK and France. There are another four countries with nuclear weapon capabilities. India, Pakistan and North Korea have all conducted nuclear weapons tests. Israel is also assumed to be armed, but it's neither admitted nor denied it. Between them, these countries have close to an estimated 13,000 nuclear weapons. This includes some waiting to be dismantled. The vast majority of these weapons are still owned by former Cold War foes, the US and Russia. They have around 4,000 active warheads each. About 1,800 of these weapons are on high alert, which means they could be launched at short notice. Remember though, these are estimates because the exact numbers are closely guarded national secrets. Overall, however, there's clearly been a big reduction in the number of nuclear weapons. Compare the current figures to 1986, when the world's nuclear arsenal was 70,000. That's a reduction of 80%. Most of it actually happened in the 1990s. The US and Russia decommissioned lots of weapons then because they could afford to lose a few thousand. The UK has now lifted its cap on the number of nuclear warheads to 260. The previous plan was set in 2010, and that was to reduce the total to 180. It's not just Britain. India, Pakistan and China are all believed to be growing their stockpiles. China is now estimated to have the third largest nuclear arsenal, surpassing France. There is one binding disarmament treaty that all five recognised nuclear weapon states are signed up to. It's called the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, or NPT. As part of this, these countries agreed to reduce their nuclear arsenals, in theory, to zero. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. Other nuclear treaties have unravelled, leading to a period of new uncertainty. The US withdrew from an agreement with Russia that prohibited the use of medium-range missiles. Crucially, all these countries are spending huge amounts of money to maintain and modernise their weaponry, which is more advanced than ever before and they appear committed to retaining them for the indefinite future. So, progress towards a world without nuclear weapons seems to be moving further out of reach.